Everyone needs goods, don't they? Sadly, we have none to spare. And it's not just food. Everyone eats, of course, but folks need timber, stone, and leather as well. Tell that to the annual tribute. That last collection was a kick in the nethers. Our stores have shriveled up like apples in winter, and it's not exactly safe to go collect more, is it? Timber cut stone and leather. After all, folks need homes, clothes, and shoes. We have a little food left, but could always use more. Honestly, anything you could bring back would help. E except dung. We got dung aplenty. Earth attacked. What's in the spheres? A weapon? A treasure? The excavation crew should have found out by now. Where have they gone? Pardon me. I was mostly thinking aloud. Just north of here is an ancient tomb with strange fears around it. We sent a team of antiquarians. If the deer was here first, then the angry Earth attacked. What's in the spheres? A weapon? A treasure? The excavation crew should have found out by now. Where have they gone? Pardon me. I was mostly thinking aloud. Just north of here, there's an ancient tomb with strange fears around it. We sent a team of antiquarians to investigate, but they have yet to return. I would greatly appreciate that, but be cautious. The ancients wielded powers we don't fully yet understand. My team are rigorous note-takers. If you discover any of their journals, please collect them. Best of luck. the last time you truly stood in wonder of the world. There is glory in the morning dew. The sun's kiss on our cheeks is more warm and gentle than any lover's lips. More people around here would be if they glimpsed the glory of wordwood trees. Their beauty is transcendent. If you find someone who is down, take them a wordwood sapling. They contain the sparkle of starlight in their branches. They mirror the viewer's intent. If you pause and appreciate them with true wonder, they'll shimmer the lights of heaven back at you. They will hold your intent and reflect it in response so others may feel that same awe in kind.
Look at this. Something approaching an actual stockpile. <laughs> I haven't seen that in months. Keep up the good work. We have other empty spots where goods should go. I haven't seen you around Corinth before. I suppose it falls to me to tell you about our current troubles. Wouldn't want you to go around uninformed. There's trouble with the tribute? I, I hadn't heard that. I was talking about the lost over in the farms. Something happened out there. It's not safe to leave unless you know how to defend yourself. A solid start. But you should also learn how to make weapons. No blade lasts forever. Here's some ore to get you started. Then, you should try to make an iron sword. Oh, you've got a knack for it. We could use someone like you in Corinth, should you decide to stay. With the lost prowling, it's not safe to head outside the settlement's walls without protection.
where has my zeal gone? I used to be thrilled to tend the crops, to share my food with others, but now it, it feels empty. Seems like I've seen all there is to see, done all there is to do. The light in the stem, it looks like it's dancing. Oh, oh, is it responding to my voice? <laughs> That's cheeky. I couldn't take this from you, but you should keep such a wonder safe. Take this. <laughs> Spelunked, caverns of the ancients, crossed the sands of brimstone by foot, and yet the world is still closed to me. I found no answers, only more questions. What is the point of searching anymore? To what end? Oh, what odd flora? It, it appears to be calling out to me. I Oh, I've forgotten to be present for nature's beauty. Thank you, kind traveler. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Keep your light shining. day is the same. The same walls over and over. The same walls. There is no splendor. I, I want to feel excited by life again, but everything has lost its color. What is this? It's remarkable. The light and the branches. See how they shimmer. Has the sky always been so gorgeous? I couldn't tend to such a marvel, but perhaps you could. Here, take this pot. Keep it thriving forever. <laughs> I was beginning to worry. 
What did you find? I... I had feared that may have happened. Thank you for your efforts. I'll inform their families. The secrets of Eternum yet elude me, but still, I feel as if we are on the verge of a breakthrough. I see smiles on faces that were once dour because of you. To know that even one person breathes easier because of us is to have succeeded. I hope you remember that whenever you look on the potted saplings. That is true magic. That's exactly right. Gods be damned. To be present for another human being is to share in their divinity. To be kind is to perform miracles. Commander Merrill dives under the Minotaur's blade, dodges left, weaves the right, and plunges his sword into the heart of the beast. Oh! Sorry, I didn't notice someone was near. I was uh, training to join the Iron Rose Company. Stalwart bastions of valor they are. I don't have a copy of the Creed. You look like a hardy adventurer. Could you swing by their camp and borrow a copy for me? Thank you. I've seen it posted near the encampments. Maybe multiple pages. I know I'll have to meditate and learn discipline. But that's difficult without instruction. You're back! I had heard that many of them became lost. You're back! I had heard that many of them became lost. I was worried about you. Thank you so much! I'll study this and memorize it. Someone has to carry on their legacy. I'll make myself worry of the name. With study and dedication, one day I'll be worthy. The Creed says valor is a beacon to those who've lost hope. Let your blade shine a light in the dark. I agree. Problem is, I don't have a sword. And Iron Rose soldiers ought to have an Iron Rose blade. They are very specific weapons. Can't be crafted by just any old smith. The Creed says Valor is a be- I agree. Prop that be marvelous. I've hit enough sticks against tree trunks. I swear the forest is starting to glare at me. <laughs>
Warrior is no more noble or sharp than the iron of the blade he carries. No more graceful than the way he treats others. Oh, thank you, thank you. You truly are a friend. I'll be able to practice properly now. Trees, beware. Things are pretty dire, aren't they? We've got swarm answers, we've got lost, and people are starting to lose hope. But I've got a plan to get everyone's spirits back up. You know what everyone loves? No dessert. Who could turn down some tasty treats? No one, that's who. I have some ready and waiting back at the farm. I just can't get to them, it's too dangerous. Of course you... Wait, you really would? A nasty abomination is roaming the fields, and there are so many withered. I'd tried to go back once before, but... I... just can't. I hate seeing my friends and family like that. Did it! You got the desserts! Oh, there will be a feast in Corinth tonight, I tell you. But first, how about we try a little here? What about it? Who needs dinner when you have dessert? <laughs> a little sweetness goes a long way in times like these. <laughs> 
It's not just dessert that will make the settlement feel better. After weeks of tough, dried meat that tastes like leather, everyone is sure to enjoy a meal full of robust flavor. I'm going to help make it. But first, I need something those pirates stole from me. They've taken bags of my best spices. Honestly, I can't blame them. My spices do smell delicious. At least those soulless brutes have good taste. <laughs> I have my moments. Last I saw, they were heading to Buccaneer Creek and Mother's Tears. You can't miss the spices. Even if you miss the vibrant colors, you just have to follow your nose. <laughs> Find God Captain DuPont is very quick to surrender when you confront him on the road. In exchange for your participation and your discretion, I will share the locations of the many <laughs> that we might share in the bounty. Yours in good faith and in confidence. Francis Turner, Speaker of the Winds.
from here. The fiery peppers, the rich scent of saffron, the warming aroma of cardamom. I'll have to save some for another batch of desserts. I'd love a good hearty stew. But for starters, I'll make sure our dried meat is well seasoned. These spices will put an end to any complaints about more salted wool, for sure. Oh dear, <laughs> you spooked me. Needless to say, I'm a little nervous wandering around out here on my own. I must complete my collection, however, whatever risk it requires. Ah! Well, I am an antiquarian, Yelena Pagetnova, nice to meet you. I collect tools used by the ancients, construction tools, whatever they used to build these magnificent towers. Only I've met some resistance. Small thing that causes such issues. Think of how unbalanced it all is. You found something? Let me see. Yes. These are precisely the types of things I'm looking for. The ancients did not share our methods of construction at all. It's clear they were capable of harnessing some type of energy to aid in their construction, but I believe there was some labor involved as well. The kind you do with your hands. The funny thing is that we still don't even know what the ancients look like. Two hands? Four hands? No hands? But I believe it was not the ancients themselves who did the work. 
It's not clear, but probably some type of thralls who served the ancients. In Amarine Temple, I've heard speak of an ancient taskmaster. If you can defeat it and bring me a piece of it, that would be an interesting find.
you defeat the Taskmaster? Amazing! Uh, let me see what you found. Yes. The very heart of this being, clearly not biological, but... Was he once human? Oh, this is the perfect addition to my collection. Thank you. The items you helped add to my collection suggest multiple possibilities for the Ancients' construction methods. Do return sometime, and we shall explore these matters further. Simon. Simon Gray, one of the most brilliant researchers on Eternum. He disappeared some time ago in the Amarine excavation. It's sad for many reasons, especially for the loss of his equipment. Yes, Simon carried the legendary Antiquarian's eyepiece, allowing the wearer to inspect the smallest of details. In fact, if you were to find such a thing in the excavation, I'd reward you handsomely for it. I know you're aware of our supply shortages here in Winsworth. I've even heard you help restock our food and wood stores, and for that you have my profound thanks. But uh, we are running dangerously low on clothing. Oh, let me tell you, crafting takes time, and my message would be a bit faster. <laughs> I propose we go in and steal the pants off those ancient guardians, eh? Oh, well, uh, perhaps not exactly pants, uh, as they don't seem to wear pants. Uh, but, uh, you get the idea. <clears throat> Since you asked, uh, any loom patterns you find will help immensely. <laughs> I'll be able to get our production up and running with the new patterns without having to come up with the designs myself. And that will save so much time. My thanks. How utterly divine. Look at this cloth. It has withstood the centuries and yet looks freshly made. Oh, if only I knew the secrets of those ancient dyes. Such vibrant colors. They're even more impressive up close. Oh, you are a dear. Uh, but not yet. First, I need to get these to the people of Corinth. Once the settlement is reclothed, then perhaps... I'll have time to pursue my studies in uh, ancient days. Ah, 
The farms may be unproductive and overrun, but luckily, animals are still abundant. Oh, you look tough enough to help hunt pumas. They provide good food for the settlement and hide for the Tanner's Guild. You'd be surprised how much meat I can get out of one puma. <laughs> Don't slaughter indiscriminately. We need the local population to be healthy. Just a few will do. Wonderful. This will make a pleasant change from all the wolf meat we've been eating. A little variety is good for morale. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, there was another death. The kind that people rarely return from. Getting mauled by a bear is enough to make even the hardiest souls become lost. Another hunter. Albrecht. He was doing the same thing you were, trying to get more food for everyone. I imagine he got a bit too close to the bear den, but that's just speculation. You might want to bring a few friends. I don't know where the lair is, so you'll have to track the bear down. I guess that means looking for... <clears throat> for... Whatever remains of poor Albrecht, try looking near the lake.
Taking down that bear was no small feat. <sighs> it's such a relief to hunt in the area, knowing it will be a while before the bear comes back. Though I'm still going to avoid its den, and so should you. No sense tempting fate. places I forgot where I left them <laughs> I tried searching but as soon as I got anywhere inspiration would strike and I'd be painting with my second best set of brushes oh, not just mine I'm part of a whole group of landscape painters on Eternum <gasps> you haven't lived until you've captured the clouds over the bay at sunset or seen the Sun peeking over the mountains at dawn <laughs> Won't just watch Winswood go to hell. The Swarmancers, the Withered, the Pirates. It's a damn mess. And we have to start somewhere. Heard Francis was working with the Pirates. Well, I know how to stop that. You know how the Swarmancers destroyed the farm? Ruined the windmills? Made it hard to get anything done? Well, I plan on returning the favor to the pirates. I already thought of that. We start by destroying the cannons. Those stockpiled powder cakes are just asking for a stray spark. And there's a big mean bruiser who leads their raids. Bloody his nose. And they'll have a hard time retaliating.
I'll teach them. I could see those explosions from here. With any luck, that will bring us a spell of peace from the pirates. All been for nothing. All my trades have been for nothing. All my training. My research into the Iron Rose. There's no chance of me becoming one of their ranks now. I wrote an application letter and took it to Captain Silva. But he's head of the town's guard now. He doesn't want anything to do with the Iron Rose. I heard the rumor of a man wandering out east wearing their colors, but who knows where he is or if he'll listen. It's time I face reality and sought a real trade. I could become a baker, I suppose. Pies are delicious. I doubt he's even alive anymore. Likely he's lost like the others. But if you want to try, I won't stop you. Here, take it. Eternum is a new land full of strange beasts. New paths that need charting. There is so little we understand. Like the buffalo. They just don't make any sense. There must be an answer to the question of them. They are a species from a completely different part of the world from all others on Eternum. There must be a reason. If you head out to the west of Windsward, you will find a herd of them. Collect what you can, and bring it back. You have my gratitude. It's unlikely that they fell here out of the sky. I'm sure they are just as confused as I am about the old ordeal. Darkness, death, a baleful curse. That's all that is left of our order. Company of lies and ashes is more like it. I dreamt of defending the countryside with my comrades in arms. But they've all fallen now. Those words. That's our creed. How do you know those words? An application to join the order. She's been training, and she speaks with discipline. There may be hope for the Iron Rose yet. I will take her on as my page, teach her our ways. Thank you, my friend. What have you uncovered about our furry friends? Hmm, interesting. I'll have to chat with Elric. I believe he has been researching those. There is so much to uncover about this strange and bounteous land. Its mysteries entrance me. Okay. 